25 million times. To show you what they've been able to do in just a couple weeks on the iPad, I'd like to invite up Mark Hickey. Mark. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Good morning. Today, my colleague Bogdan and I are here to show you some amazing new gameplay mechanics that we've worked into our award-winning first-person shooter called Nova. So what's different about Nova on the iPad versus Nova on the iPhone or the iPod Touch? Well, when you hold the device in your hands, you'll see the display is just huge, which makes the game immensely fun to play. But the size also gives you a lot more flexibility when it comes to controlling the game. For example, I can slide the D-pad up and down the side of the screen. Or if I want to quickly access some firepower, I can drag the rocket launcher down next to the fire button. So with the controls set up how we like, take a look at the bottom left corner of the screen. We've added a mini-map, and you can stretch the mini-map mini -map out across the screen just by dragging the corner with your finger. When we do that, you'll notice that there's this red dot on the screen. This tells us that there's an enemy nearby. Well, another cool feature that we've added is that now you, you can slide two fingers across the screen to throw grenades, like so. And shot. So, the iPad gives us the ability to interact with the game world in ways that weren't really possible before. In order to open these airlocks, you physically apply three fingers to the control disc and turn your hand in order to pa for the passage to open. Now, we all know that first-person shooters are about combat, so we designed a system that we're calling MTA, Multiple Target Acquisition. With the rocket launcher selected, you can drag a targeting box around a group of enemies and then fire on all of them simultaneously. Check it out. Definitely useful when you're outgunned and outnumbered. Now this is what we were able to accomplish in just a few short days working with this exciting new hardware. The games look incredible at this higher resolution and the form factor opens up countless new doors for us in terms of game design. You'll be able to see what else we have in store for you when the iPad version of Nova ships later this year. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mark. Great stuff. Next up, the New York Times. The New York Times has been publishing a newspaper for more than 150 years. It's commonly referred to as the paper of record, with a huge readership both nationally and internationally. It also produces one of the best web news sites in the world, and one of my favorites. To tell you about their plans for the iPad, I'd like to invite up Martin Nissenholtz. Martin. Thanks, Scott. It's great to be here today. I want to introduce my colleague, Jennifer Brook, the interaction designer on this application, and Adam Kaplan, the engineer. So Steve showed you the website, the Times website, and it's just incredibly beautiful. Unbelievable imagery, unbeatable readability. So why did we come out here three weeks ago to develop this new application for the iPad? Well, we developed an application for the iPhone that has been downloaded over three million times, and we optimized that for that device. And now we want to do the same thing for the iPad, creating something that joins the best of print with the best of digital, all rolled up into one. Something that you can really immerse yourself in, lean back, and enjoy. So let's take a look. I'm so excited to share with you what we've been working on in the last couple weeks. We think that we've captured the essence of reading the newspaper, the finite snapshot in time, the exquisite typography, images, and content, and a superior reading experience all in a native application. Let's take a look. From the front page, you can easily flip through sections, tap into articles, or we can skip ahead to my favorite section to see today's latest stories. It captures the essence of reading the newspaper, but as you're about to see, it's so much more. I can save articles to my reading list, and it will sync to my iPhone so I can read them whenever I want. Or we can jump ahead to 36 hours to see the latest story in travel. The reading experience is great. You can tap to change the number of columns, resize text with a pinch, or we can flip through dozens of amazing slideshows. Let's jump to sports to see the latest coverage in the Olympics. 
It's an incredibly physical sport. In my opinion, skier cross athletes are some of the best skiers on the planet. Yeah, it's great to see uh, skier cross making it into the Olympics in 2010. When you're done reading, simply turn on updates to get breaking news and latest stories in all sections. It's everything you love about the paper, everything you love about the web, and everything you expect from the Times. Thanks, Jennifer. So this is just the beginning.